that's the testing. <coughs> Hi there guys, my name is Rohan Bebe and today we are going to be talking about luck. Well, scientifically, can you make luck happen scientifically? Well, here's our, here are, this is, by the way, based off of Richard, Richard Wiseman's uh, book of luck, so... Uh, shout out to him. So, this video is going to be saying the four uh, different types of ingredients that is needed to use luck. Well, scientifically anyway. Richard here has studied for decades and has apparently cracked the code to how to get luck. And it is not with the power of the cosmic dice or whatever, anything like that, nah. It is because of your personality and your character, you know, the behavior, the things you do, that kind of stuff. That's what influences luck. But how does the, but what are these? Well, there are four in total, okay? Let's first start with the first one, noticing opportunities. So let's put up an experiment Richard did. He took 400 people, split them into two groups, asked each of them are, which ones are lucky and which ones are not. Then they conducted two experiments. The first experiment showed them reading this newspaper and he gave a simple task. Show, it, he said to count how many photos are in the newspaper. So the people who said they were unlucky took about two minutes to find the answer, while people who are lucky found it immediately. Let me give a few seconds on why. That's correct. It was because on page two of the newspaper, there was, it said here, it said there was a, it said on the second page, stop reading the number of photos is 43 because unlucky people tend to miss it while lucky people mostly found it immediately here's another experiment okay so they put up a, a group of people and they put up a computer and it showed this white screen and a dot that kept on bouncing the rules were simple stare at the dot Okay, and periodically, sometimes, some bigger black dots would appear. Most of the most of the people always saw them, but then they put another group up, and they waged like a few dollars around. Okay, some money that made the person like anxious, right? And they did not notice it that much as in the first group. So that led to Richard saying that most likely anxiety also changes the probability of luck as the more anxiety you have, the less tendency to notice opportunities. Well, while keeping calm and focused, you can find opportunities to gain, to be, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, the second one, the second intuition is listening to, well, your intuition, but like listening to your gut feeling. Like say you're, you and your friends are gonna go into this, into a restricted area. If you have a gut feeling or a feeling that you don't like it, probably listen to it because most people who are lucky always follow their gut and most of the time they actually do good choices and they always listen to their intuition listen to their gut they always listen to your intuition so that way they can most likely find find opportunities and get rich or famous in that stuff right next is create self-fulfilling promises okay so what this means or prophecies it basically what this means Say you want to buy this bicycle, okay? Say, say, okay, let's say you, okay, wanted a brand new bicycle, but he did not have the mo enough money to. 
right? So what what should he do? Oh no. Well, thanks, but since he was dedicated on wanting so with positive the positive attitude, he was able to buy that because he always created self self fulfilling prop, prop, prophecies the reason being is that that way he so like he's dedicated on something he wants that he will get that that type of feeling you know so always makes a goal and the most likely probability will also get lucky right to achieve that goal and last is a good good attitude say you are recording this video okay like this one you're you're setting up the camera you know you're setting it up and you're like okay i'm done now what you go you go down and you accidentally like do some trick and you fail right but and most people would be sad and the video would not be well good well lucky people tend to always have a good attitude and if anything negative happens they always bounce back up making it a good place making them making a positive energy around them so that that and most likely tendin tendency to make it more popular make them more lucky okay so the four pieces of scientific luck is noticing opportunities listening to intuition create self-fulfilling prophecies and always have a good attitude and that's basically how you get luck well scientifically but thanks to richard wiseman and thank you for watching this video hope to see you next time bye bye